Welcome to Reflections, a program where we discuss values and virtues for the transformation of the individual and the society in general. I am Father George Ehusani, and I have with me in the studio once again our friend Professor Godwin Chuku, Petroleum Engineer, Professor of Petroleum Engineering, and uh, the CEO of Tonsia Energy Consulting. You're welcome to the studio. Thank you, Father. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, we had a discussion about integrity and especially integrity among the youth uh, in our society and um, I got to know that you are involved big time in entrepreneurship, youth empowerment. Yeah. And I'm hoping that in the process of your youth empowerment programs, uh, integrity is built into it. Uh, um, I told you that Luxterra has been uh, for the last six years, uh, five, five, yeah, last five years we have been involved in various um, integrity programs and uh, especially in the last few years we are focused on on on, on young people um, so I'm interested in this empowerment because one of the challenges we have in this country is uh, when they say uh, youth unemployment I think the population the official figures are going towards 60 percent or more yeah 60 percent or more or more of Youth unemployment. Yeah. And even when you talk about that 60% or more, the, pe the number of youths that are employed, I mean, you, classically they will call some of them underemployment. Underemployment, yeah. because you, you, I don't consider the person riding an Okada and taking one passenger. I don't consider that employment. I mean, and, I, and I feel so sad, so ashamed when I see uh, um, state governors or other people doing what they call um, youth empowerment by giving motorcycles or kada for these people to go and kill themselves to go and to go and, and 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 break their bones and so on and so forth i mean and some even call it curiously mass transit how can a vehicle that take one person be mass transit so um tell us about this your youth empowerment entrepreneurship uh, program and uh, how more people can take interest in it and more people can be involved. Thank you, Father. Uh, this is an area that I have very great passion for. This is an area that I have practiced and uh, I've got a lot of grants to empower the youth and eventually some are successful, some are not successful. But in this program, actually, I want to give some advice on how state governments and how people can empower the youth at various levels. First of all, the youth make up the middleman power of any economic sure. you know, system. And you might have a company, you have the CEOs, the middleman power are the people that make the money for the company, oh, sure. operationally and otherwise. So you must take care of them. And then for them to be taken care of, you must have to start from the cradle, from the bottom, mm -hmm. to, to build, build up. Build up. Exactly. So how do we do this? In a nutshell, I have communicated this idea to even the honorable members in the house, in some of our workshops and trainings, that everybody that is elected a governor of the 36 states of this country can empower 200 youths for the time period of that particular election cycle. How can you do that? If you empower 50 youths every, every year with 100 million. That's uh, two, two million. Yes, but I'll give you the breakdown of how this money is. You're not giving it to them. Okay, if you empower 50 youths with 100 million every year, in four years, you are spending 400 million, which is peanuts. In this for state government? Yeah, for the state government. But then, how do you monitor this youth? This is what the idea I'm selling to many people and many uh, politicians and leaders. For every state, you need to build what we call entrepreneurship village. Entrepreneurship village. village. We call it e village. In most of my write-ups, in most of my television appearances and uh, uh, papers, I've called it e-village. If you come into power and then you go and acquire land 
they are from Imostead. Mm -hmm. And then you go to any of the surrounding villages, any of the surrounding uh, cities, any of the surrounding areas, and inquire so many acres of land. And you designate that as an e village. A village. And then you build workshops for these kids mm -hmm. where they have to be paying rent from the time they get free from the uh, apprenticeship. And how do you do this? You have to, they have to acquire some skills, not a cadre riding. Not a cadre riding. Yes. yes. So we have done it. We were sponsored by Total to go and recruit 25 kids from vocational schools mm -hmm. uh, in Abuja. And we were able to go to these schools, got 25 by volunteerism. And these 25, we are now put in different skill acquisition threads by their choice. Could be uh, bread making, it could be solar, it could, whatever trade you want to acquire. And after the training for one month, Total will give them what we call startup packages. Mm -hmm. So then these kids will be monitored every month for returns mm -hmm. to, check, to check their balances, how they are doing. If after one year, from the startup kids they are giving, yes. assuming they are giving 500,000 to start, to and start. then after one year, they are doing well, then Total will then give them cosign, another. cosign for them to take money from the bank. Aha. Uh -huh. And assuming state governments do this. If see, Total they, can do that. Yes. Total did it for Northeast, North Central here in Abuja, Southwest, right? And what they did was you monitor these people and give, tell us, give us feedback. See the ones that are doing well, yes. and then we now serve as guarantor for them to exactly. get loans from Exactly. The and you see that most of them have done well, some of them have not. It so will be 100%. You, you yes. cannot get 100% success. No. But this is something that if the government, any state government, cannot take this to a different level by establishing what they call e-village. In that e-village, what will you have in it? Because, I mean, I, I know of entrepreneurship villages where they will have all kinds of workshops and equipment to train so there will be a, 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 a vehicle mechanic uh, a, a unit there will be uh, like you said a bread making unit with bakers and so on then there will be a saloon i mean mm -hmm. hairdressing yes, and, and and all that there will be all kinds of things that people now make their choice and then they are going to spend three months or six months as the case may be to learn Properly, the skills. Acquire the skills. Acquire the skills, yes. seriously. Because yes. one, of the, one of the things we lack in this country is um, skilled workers. Yes. I don't know if you are aware that in this country, at least until recently, I don't know whether this has changed, you want to build a house. They say when you want to build a house and you want to put up the walls quickly, you get an Igbo man to do it. When you want to plaster the house, you get a Yoruba man to do it. But when you want to do the finishing you go to togo yes. have you heard that before i've had <laughs> <laughs> not you as to, you have analyzed it. you go to togo yes they say, they say, you go to togo you go to togo or Benin republic to get the people because to set the tiles and do the final neat work that our people don't have the skills very sadly yeah very yeah. sadly now um it, the, the the point is that why would why would we have uh, workers, masons, and so on, who don't know about straight lines? So you go and see a pillar that is already uh, pointing in one direction, and yet it's going to carry a house. And yet there are architects, there are builders, there are uh, uh, masons, and so on and so forth. Ghana here, you don't practice any of these trades without a trade test. Yes, that's where I'm coming. Aha. That's the next thing so, I want to say. That after training, mm -hmm. these children have acquired the skill. For you to enter that entrepreneurship village, you must take an test, exam, mm -hmm. a test. 
could be designed by whatever examining body. And this is where some of us from overseas can help them set up these testing centers. It becomes government approved certification. But all these things need planning. Yes. But it can be done in a short time if the politicians actually will buy into this. I, I was, I'm actually saying that what you are saying is so beautiful that I don't want you to limit it to politicians. Why can't big churches, dioceses, big Pentecostal churches, uh, Islamic organizations, why can't they be part of this and set up their own and get land and set up this? Because, you see, we are in trouble in this country now. Um, we can't be waiting for our politicians, many of who are just interested in their own uh, whatever. So, yes, we must push the government because a lot of our resources in this country come through government. But also push um, uh, non-government agencies and religious bodies included to uh, see what they can do. Because, I mean, Abuja Archdiocese, for example, has been doing a lot to see what, how they can empower the youth. And... They, 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 they are working on setting up a vocational center. And the kind of things you are saying are, are among the things that... That, that is that, over to you that, now. That, 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 that being discussed. You are a very good messenger for this. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so, <laughs> so I would, I, I, would, I would actually ask those who are in charge in Abuja Diocese to speak with you. Yep. To get advice. Yep. So, and I'm saying, the Willi Archdiocese can do this. Lagos Archdiocese can do this. The Anglican Diocese can do this. The Pentecostal churches, the various groups can do this. So that we have... If every year each one of these big groups can empower 50 people, 50 people, this is enough. And other people can emulate. Or and other agencies and individuals can, can, can emulate. emulate. Yes. 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 I tried it with 25 people in my community, yes. though they failed me. But it was not well organized as I'm now articulating it. Mm -hmm. If we had planned it in such a way that, um, they are put in a place where they are going. Am I, our viewers will be interested. You say it failed. In what way did it fail? It failed because they were, we were not monitoring them. Okay, you gave them money. We gave them money to and, go and do continue what they have been doing. And, and they didn't return the money. They didn't return the money. Mm -hmm. But in the way that I'm talking now, the government is going to give them a grant. But the government will be monitoring them. And they will start after two or three months to start paying for the workshop, the rentals mm -hmm. of where they are mm -hmm. staying. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you make sure that you, you, you give them something to do yes. in return. Yes. It's not uh, like you're it's, giving them a cheap... It's not a dash. It's not a dash. Yes. Yes. They must have to be answerable to yes. whatever yes. 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 you yes. give them. Yes. So there is a lot to this. We have a very short time. But eventually... Most of these kids will take this money and then decide to do what they want to do. So what we have decided to do, assuming any of this works, is to, assuming somebody has learned bicycle repair or hair salon or innovative type of thing, the, the system will then buy all those equipment for them. Mm -hmm. And this, we learned this from Total. Because the first year we gave them money. Ah, that was the mistake. And they failed. So we sat down and they say, Total said, okay, Tonsha, you buy this. Uh, I'm, not, I'm, calling, I'm not calling Tonsha that yes. we do it, but no, I'm no, saying no. I mean, the, the organization, organization, yes. Yeah, you have to go and buy the startup kits. That is it. You see, I mean, when, when you say this, I am thinking of the Nigerian young people of the next 10, 20 years. And the... Our elections have become war these days because politics and being in government is the only business. But if there is proper empowerment of and a lot of, of the, the youth, youth and a lot of initiatives going on, how many people will care about government? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm thinking, for example, that in the next 25 years, many of these petrol cars will be will be phased out. Yeah. So do we just become dumping ground for the cars that uh, Europe and America wants to throw away. What about we who have all the solar? What about is is there any agency in this country preparing young people for uh, electric cars right now? Is there any agency? Okay, uh, the government is talking about it, but I'll tell you something that um, this 
the youth of nowadays, we have missed, they have missed opportunities from what we call the natural gas utilization through petrochemicals. If you go to the petrochemical industry, mm -hmm. you see every product of petrochemical can now be utilized one way or the other. Look at this bottle. Petrochemical. Petrochemical. If somebody actually goes to manufacture this, get water uh, bottled a manufacturing machine. Yes. Okay, that's entrepreneurship. Somebody can go and start making uh, pens. That's yes. entrepreneurship. Yes. We can expand the sh rubber shoes. That's entrepreneurship. When I came to African University of Science and Technology, with what I set up, Petroleum Advisory Board, we were, I, I told them, I want to create an innovative domain where every year I will ask students to showcase what they have created. That's what I started. We call it innovative domain. And eventually, it didn't work out. I had some money there, but it didn't work out because it didn't work out because we had a short duration of time for the students. Oh, yeah. They, they this, are there for 12 this, months. This thing needs incubation time. Exactly. They are there for 12 months. And if you push them with this innovative idea, uh, most of them have very good innovative ideas. And now you push them with the academic work. It doesn't work well. Balancing I, I was quite impressed. Not long ago, I read about a, a photo. Yeah. University of Technology in uh, Wary, how some students are developing electric cars. That is, I wanted to use it to answer your question. Uh -huh. The dumping ground you talked about. We have people that are ready to launch, come up, in, yeah. to launch something. Yes. But are we ready to support, support them? them? We have brilliant kids here. I mean, when I think of when I think of that young man from Sokoto called Gelani, mm -hmm. with uh, American, I mean uh, General Motors. Yes, uh, chief one, is becoming one of the chief designers of for General Motors, and I know that uh, perhaps if you go to Elon Musk now and his uh, uh, his uh, uh, vehicles, there must be Nigerians in some top position. A lot of them. A lot of so, them. So, and you are saying, what is it in this society, the demon in this society that we must cast out okay, so, that, so that these people can be here and be encouraged to work? Okay. Look at what uh, Tony Elumelu is doing. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. If we have people that can realize that charity begins at home. Yes. Some of these kids, you can set up a conference, annual conference, where you pick these kids and be ready to sponsor them instead of putting your money, buying votes, and all the rest of them. We have people that can do it. If all these rich people... I mean, when you, think, when you talk about it, what you are saying now, there's a lot of money still in this country in spite of the poverty. Yes. The money is in the hands of a few people. Very few people. Who want to grab power with it. But I read something recently that, look, Dangote, doesn't, Dangote is not a councillor. He's never been a councillor, never been a, a senator. He's never been anything. But his, his name is a household name. Yep. You don't have to be a governor. No, you don't have to. You don't have to be a senator. You don't no, have to be a president. Now, you are talking of Tony Elumelu, same thing. Now, um, everybody is talking of uh, Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and so on and so forth. Their names are household names, globally. So, but my people are here struggling to be councillor in the village, struggling to be senator, and put, throwing in millions and millions which the young people are collecting and are killing themselves. Okay, but another, another issue we have in this country, people make all this money by whatever means and then dump them overseas. Oh, take it overseas? Yes, because, if, because they feel that if they use the money here, people will know they have uh, made money Millions. one way or the other. But if the government can insist, all those people that are corrupt get their money and invest in this country, well, some, of, some of the loot, even including a bachelor loot that they have taken, we don't know what they have done with it now. But that's, that's the system we are talking about. The system is failing us, has failed us. Because I am really, I am afraid of the next 10, 20 years. If the country is in such um, tense moment now, on account of more than 60% of young people um, 
many are not only unemployed but unemployable unemployed and unemployable because the guy has no skills of any sort yep. and they, they they are running around politicians running around whatever to get a, a, some job it is not skilled job when i look at it and i'm saying this is a bomb ticking bomb the government should concentrate more on vocational training we just went to every day, government is setting up universities. Vocational training is the name of the game now to get us out of this mess for the youth. Yeah. Because and, and not everybody is meant for university education. I don't know. We destroyed the polytechnics. Everyone is now degree yep. awarding. We destroyed the College of Education. Yep. Everyone is now degree awarding. And then we neglected. There was a time that they came out. The reason for the 6334 system was to have six years of primary school, yes. three, years three years of basic secondary school, and then people now split. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, everybody is doing the six years. They, everybody is just doing it as a matter of fact. Everybody is just doing the six years. Yeah. You go to Germany, there is the gymnasium. There is the school. After um, a, a few years, like our first three years, in, in Germany, the, school, the children split into two. Those that are going for the academics and those that are going for technical, vocational. vocational and yeah. technical. And it doesn't make them any less because I lived in Germany and for me to play, pay a plumber. Plumbers <laughs> make more than ah, that. I mean, you know? for me to pay a plumber. Yes. I, I live briefly in the US. Now, I had one of these uh, Renault, Renault, Ford, Renault, uh, mm -hmm. Renault, Renault car, French Renault car. And then the thing the, I noticed that the gear was not selecting well. It was manual gear was not selecting well. And I took it to the mechanic. The guy called me aside and advised me to just dump, dump it and get another car. He says because they will charge per hour. It will be per hour. Yep. And if he charges me fifty thousand per hour, and to drop this engine and repair and fix back, it may take me two days. It may take him two days. And you have to get that money to buy another one. And it's, and he calculated it that yeah. what it will get me that is better for me to buy another. Meaning here there's no cheap labor. Okay, but another problem we have here is that there is no certification of skills. Aha. Uh -huh. Because the kind of mechanic I'm talking about yes. is well trained and certificated. No yes. certification of skills. So if the government can actually come up with an idea where before you go and repair anything you must be satisfied and where our legal system was if you come to work on my car and you are not satisfied whatever spoils in that car, i'll take you to court yeah so these are areas that government should look into because once you start satisfying skills people will attach importance to it the skills start getting better exactly the skills will start getting better so that is a take well, away it, from this our discussion yeah, it, 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 on, 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 a, on a lighter note if somebody comes to repair your thing and it spoils and you say you need to, to go to court he is the first person to tell you if you're not satisfied go to go court, to court. <laughs> Uh, well, you are, you are not the one going to tell no, him. He's one who is going to say. But on a serious note, <laughs> on a serious note, people will then be serious in going for certification. Correct, correct. correct. That's the they idea. will bend down to learn the trade and yes. the skill, acquire it because they are going to take and, the certification. And policymakers take note. We are not talking of what happens in Alaska. We are not talking no, of no, what no. happens in Melbourne. It happens in Ghana. This certification for every trade yes. for bricklayer for electrician Everything. for whatever in ghana till today it is happening so it's not it's, we don't have to reinvent the wheel no. on this note i'd like to say thank you Paul, thank for you for coming we have a lot to discuss oh, for yeah. this country yes we have a lot contribution to make but the problem is you can talk all you want to talk but people are not going to that do. is why that leadership is, is important very very that's important. why the caliber of human beings that we, 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 we elect and we push into leadership positions is absolutely yep. important. I, I, I have made my contributions in the U.S. I've come here to make a, any little contribution. Take it, leave it. I've done my job. Give me a job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and God bless you. And all. you too. Thank you. Thank you.